Who's to blame for cloud hacks? In 2016, cloud hacks were a huge issue, and it will only get worse. Many celebrities had their private photos hacked and leaked. That's a huge concern. However, this is not the biggest concern. The biggest concern is that hackers are increasingly targeting cloud. Why are hackers increasingly targeting cloud? Research company Gartner predicted there would be 6.8 billion connected devices in 2016 which is a 30% increase over 2015. By 2020, the number could jump to over 20 billion connected devices. The sheer number of connected devices presents an unprecedented opportunity for hackers. Many of the consumer connected devices do not have security. Because of this, the number of attacks should skyrocket. Smartphones present the biggest risk category going forward. They are particularly attractive Criminals because of the number of devices being connected and the number of ways to attack the device. 780 breaches occurred in 2015. I'm sure more occurred in 2016. 312 security breaches involving business accounting for more than 16 million records being exposed. Hacking of businesses accounted for 40% of the security breaches that occurred in 2015. In the medical and healthcare industry, there were 276 breaches in 2015, which exposed more than 121 medical records. This accounts for 35.4% of breaches that occurred. Who's to blame for cloud hacking? What are some ways to prevent cloud hacking? As more and more people are using cloud, hackers are getting better at obtaining information from you without you even knowing. There is simply no way to know how the hackers are obtaining the information. The reason is because hackers get their information in many different ways. Hackers use so many different tools to hack cloud, which makes it virtually impossible to stop them. You can't totally stop them, but you can lessen the possibility of it. These are some ways to lessen the possibility of your device being hacked. This will not completely stop them from hacking your device, but it will lessen the possibility of it. First thing you do is add security to your device. After you add security, make sure you have a strong password. The last thing you can do is encrypt your storage data. In 2017, it is always good to be extra cautious about what you're putting on your storage cloud. Hackers are just too good, so I wouldn't suggest you to put any private information that you wouldn't want leaked. Hopefully in the future, we find a surefire way of stopping hackers, but for now, we just have to lessen the possibility of stopping hackers. Next, who's to blame for millennial problems? <laughs>